The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, very sunny and very pleasant and a lack of humidity, Delray Beach, Florida. That's something that we don't see. Unfortunately, that humidity was dumped up uh, to the north of us in Orlando, Jacksonville, that whole area. It got just simply uh, crushed out there. Uh, so, uh, hey, this is your 11 a.m. update. Right now, we've got U.S. equity futures traded to the upside. You've got Dow futures up 30 points, uh, NASDAQ futures up 17, S&P 7, the Russell's up uh, 3 points. Gold's trading out at 1672, that's up 4 bucks. Silver's trading out at 1891, that's up 20 cents. Light sweet crude is basically flat at 8114, and natural gas is basically flat as well at $6.86 out there. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. Let's go look at our white background charts out here as opposed to the black ones. You'll see all the TD9 counts that are out here, and you're going to see a plethora of them. ES Mini's got both a TD9 count and by the D point pattern. Its issue is resistance, which is its oscillator and change line. It's also got a profile support level that is held. The resistance area is at 37.32. Watch resistance during the day. Watch support as well. Support for the daily time frame is out at 36.22. The NASDAQ NQ out here, the same kind of pattern. It's uh, yesterday tested and rejected that red oscillator and change line. That's an ominous thing out there. It's really a bearish condition. Price would need to overtake 11.465 to suggest that there's really some kind of legs to its bottom signals and a counter trend move. Otherwise, expect lower price. The Dow, TD9 count bottom as well by the D point bottom. Again, resistance here is going to be 29.754. Support is going to be the bottom of its profile. And that's out of the 29.123 level. High grade copper formed a TD9 count bottom. Price is trading with inside its daily profile. Uh, it's a bearish structured profile. So resistance at 346, 352, and then finally 355. You close about 355, then it's got its bullish legs back. Gold has got a nice roads momentum indicator bottom, a nice TD9 count. If price can uh, take out the bottom, stay above the bottom of its daily profile, 1670, 40, that should get us up to the 1695 area and above 1695, 1742. It's possible that the low on Wednesday was the C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside that should take silver to the 2102 level. We don't have a confirmation of that, but price is trading above. It's bearish structure daily profile, and so that is a likely outcome. Lightspeed crew has got a TD9 count bottom, as does natural gas, as does the 30-year treasuries. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next with the Morning Market Kickoff. Have a fantastic Friday. I'll look forward to seeing you at 11 o'clock sharp on Magical Magnificent Monday. Take care.